Hello everyone, Simon here. We're playing Rebuild 3, so let me just load the game again. So uh, at the end of the last video, we just finished uh, reclaiming the entire city, and now there's nothing left to do here. Although we could have finished this particular mission a long time ago. Let me just wait till the next day. Alright, there you go. Achievement. So uh, we unlocked... Oh, we, we reclaimed the whole city, so let's move on to the next town, shall we? So we have to select here. We have to start a mission. We have to leave the city. And we get to choose... Uh, three more people? Let's go for skills. We don't... I don't think we need... Um... Leaders. I do think we need... I do like Diane Moon. Alright, let's take Diane Moon with us. Uh, and Dorothy, I think. I think it's good if we take a few... Actually, let me cancel that, let me cancel that. Um... Actually, I'm, I'm just thinking I should probably take, uh... Take the best people with me, so... I'll probably take Diane Moon, Dorothy Robinson... And, uh, oh crap, I want a researcher. I want a researcher and a builder. Ginge? Ah, uh, Vincent. I guess I don't need Vincent. We need a researcher, but I think we need soldiers more. I can do the researching too. So let me just um, look at my equipment. So Ginge should probably take a toolbox. And look, let's see, the sledgehammer is 2-2. Two, two. This is 1-1. One, one. Pickaxe is 2-1. Oh, chainsaw? 2 defense, 1 building. Surprisingly, it's not as good as the sledgehammer. Chainsaw's not as good as sledgehammer. Uh, flamethrower is 4 defense, which is kind of amazing. Uh, 3 defense plus a perk hunter. Sword is 2 defense. Knife is 2 defense. Nail bat is two. Baseball bat, but it gets recreation. One and recreation and one. All right, so Ginge can be our new builder in the next town, right? And then I want to take oh man, we we're just gonna leave our scavengers behind. I guess we are. President has the flamethrower. And the chemistry set. I'm going to change the chemistry set. So this is a uh, three engineering. This is five engineering. And first aid. All right. So so this allows me to also have um, also have research abilities. I guess I'll take the flamethrower and that. All right. So then I also want to take with me. Uh, Diane Moon, who is tough, melee training, defense expert. So let's give her a good weapon. This is two defense, one defense, one scavenging, one defense, one scavenging. This is two defense. Yes, equip it. Give her a sword, I mean, it just looks better. Actually, no, I should give her a, a sledgehammer because... Jinjiang, no, can't do that. Because the sledgehammer is two defense, plus it has the uh, the building. So it's better. Right, so Diane Moon has that. Dorothy Robinson, Commander Firearms Training. So you're gonna get a rifle. Which is better than the other one? Oh, items, hold on. Items, what items do you have? Nothing. Uh, if we give you a helmet, you are defended and you don't die on missions, which is useful. Plus two defense perk pet owner. We can take children with us. 13 years old, minus one to all stats. 13 years old, minus one to all stats. Let's not take the children with us, that's kind of crazy. Uh... Defended? Is defended 
the most useful? Plus one scavenging. Plus building leadership. Alright, so you're gonna be defended. And you're also gonna be defended. Uh, and is that it? Two soldiers and a builder? So, uh, we're gonna start, leave the city. So, Hell Jinjian. Diane Moon. And Dorothy Robinson. Wait, how many people can I take with me? Wait, I thought I could only take three. Wait, how many people can I take with me? Wait a minute. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Leave the city, click to replace. One day left. Take up to three survivors. Yeah, well, why does it let me select other people? That's weird. Anyway, I'm just going to take... I'm just going to go back and do what I was meant to do anyway. Alright, there you go. Start. Uh, wait a minute. I should be there too. And next day. Hell Jinjiang, Dorothy Robinson and I... Wait. No, this should be... Hell... Wait. <laughs> this should be four people. I thought it was four people. Hell Jinjiang, Dorothy Robinson and I packed our weapons equipment and as much food as we could carry. We said our farewells at the gate. The new leader, Dwayne, promised to take good care of Snoqualmie. He said we'd always be welcome back, but I knew I'd never return. We made our way to the edge of town. Alright, continue. And took one last look out at the shining city Squanome, Snoqualmie had become. With high walls to keep the chaos outside, hardworking citizens to keep its spirit alive, and an organized government to run it. This city will continue to thrive and be a beacon of civilization to a lost and broken world. And now onward, there are more survivors out there and other cities that need our help. Leave. Alright, cool. Constant reminder. Diane and I hiked up a hill to scout our route east. We looked down over Snoqualmie, admiring the strong walls we'd built. Diane said we'd done well, but she could feel other towns out there that need our help. That was when she noticed the scar from my bite. It's been years since the first, sight, first night of the outbreak, but I still carry this constant reminder. Infected? I finally told her the story, all of it. How I shot Sergeant Hester, how I waited for the fever that never came. Diane was horrified. She pushed me away and accused me of having put the whole fort in danger by not telling her sooner. You could still be infected, she yelled. You could have spread it to the others, to me. Yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> Attacked! We were too busy arguing to hear the zombies coming. Let your guard down for one second. Diane could have killed them all by herself. If she was in such a mad fury, but, but I was distracted. I let one get too close to me. Diane saved my life, but she... Wait, she died? A real? She died? Oh, that sucks. I've seen a lot of people die, but this, Diane bled out in my arms. She talked deliriously, mostly about her teenage son, Mason. She was so sure he's still alive out there, so I promised to look for him as I moved east. We didn't talk about my bite. My plans to move on haven't changed, but I guess I'm leading things now. I just hope I can live up to Diane's memory. Wait, I thought I chose Diane to come with us. Uh, so we only took two survivors with us instead of three because Diane dies along the way, apparently. Uh, day 108. Can I go back and choose another person? I'm just gonna go back and choose another person because apparently one of them dies. <laughs> well, that sucks. Hold on, I should choose someone else. Who should, who should I choose? Who's uh, who's who's good at their job? That's a twelve. Uh, all right. I guess we're gonna take the other Jinj, Mike Jinj Young. We're gonna take the other Jinj with us. 
You can have Diane's helmet. Who are you? You are melee training fighter. Yeah, you can take Diane's stuff. How about that? How about that? You take Diane's stuff and you come with us. <laughs> Why would? And nobody told me she would die along the way. Wait, oh, that this is really just guarding. Hold on, we are leaving. Mike Jinjiang, Dorothy Robinson, Hell Jinjiang, they're both Jinj, and I packed up. Okay, now we have three people with us. All right, we've we've seen this before. We've seen this before. And Diane just dies. All right, there you go. So you get more points if you finish faster. That's interesting. Uh, all right, bunch of stuff completed. Total score ten thousand seventy eight. Winachi, Winachi is the next place. So we start from Seattle. Seattle got nuked. What is that symbol? Uh, we are moving eastward. A town of rivers and orchards, no doubt named after some Native Americans who were kicked out of here long ago. Well, in the name, we're going to take it back. Good job, bro. <laughs> Thanks. Except it looks like we're not the only ones with that idea. Two other factions are building their own forts here too. I hope we can work together. City name! Winachi. So do we play easy, or do we just go... Do we go more... I feel like we should play the campaign on easy, and then we might play a, a sandbox game. On more difficult settings. Easy is kind of easy though. Maybe let maybe we should bump it up. Should we bump it up? Let's bump up to normal. Now that we know how the uh, the game mechanics work, reclaim twenty five more buildings. River zombies mill on the banks here, but really enter the river. We can't reclaim the river, but it makes a great natural barrier. Alright, so there's woods back there, there's a river back there, so we should probably back ourselves into this corner. Oh, there's a Megamore. People used to spend hours aimlessly shuffling around these temples of commerce, nothing's changed, huh? Yes, yeah, funny. Ah, uh, funny, because there's, there's still shuffling around, because there's zombies, am I right? Alright. Let's recruit those guys. Zero danger. What is this? It's an office. And a suburb. Uh, we are losing food. Let me... Uh, convert this. No, don't do that. So what's here? Zombies? Alright, you're gonna come over here and kill these zombies. So because we're starting off with a lot of equipment and stuff, this is uh, gonna be an easier start. You are gonna convert that into a farm. Alright, go. Oh wait, I, I wanna I wanna turn base. Zombies killed, zombies killed. Alright, so we're gonna reclaim this. And we're gonna reclaim this. There's no loot there, right? Alright, there's no loot there. Next day. Apparently there are rumors going around that we're a bunch of filthy cannibals. Carlos and Lieutenant Hellman, the brothers I met while recruiting today, say they heard it from a blonde woman who passed through here earlier that month. Okay. We've never eaten people. Good. Alright, so we've got a bunch of people to join us. And they're both soldiers, huh? Well, can you kill these guys? How dangerous is that? Zero percent, that's good. Uh, let me scavenge. From here. Can you kill these guys? How dangerous is that? Alright, not dangerous at all, good. And next day, oh, look, zombies. But the zombies are not dangerous at all, so we. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna do that. So we are still losing food at two per day, and we can't take any more survivors. Zombies killed, found materials, found materials, I found. Alright, well, zombies killed, so let's. Wait, there's stuff to scavenge? Or oh, there's food to scavenge? Uh, let's not worry about scavenging, let's just reclaim that. Because we need more food, right? So we're gonna take the farms. 
and then next day. That's perfectly fine. No problems at all. Found materials, that's good. So you're gonna reclaim that. Uh, what do you want to do? Nothing yet, I guess. All right. Let's. You can farm for a bit, just cause we don't want to lose food that rapidly. Okay, so we got field reclaimed, park reclaimed, found ammunition. Field. Uh, hunting like. Hunt for a steady supply of food. Scavengers are better at it. I think what I want to do instead is just build a farm here because farms don't need anyone to actually farm them in order for them to get food. In the meantime, we're going to scout over here and scout over here and then expand that way. Build a farm, spotted food, spotted food, okay. I mean, do we care? Do we care about the materials? I guess we care a little bit about the materials. Um, let's just kill the zombies there and there. And you can defend there. Next day... Our materials, zombies killed, zombies killed. Alright, you guys are gonna defend. You can scavenge for a while. You guys can defend there and there. Alright, that's fine. The road is long. Lieutenant Hellman heard crying last night and went out into the city to see what it was. He found a young girl wandering out there exhausted, traumatized and alone. The kid is in shock. She hasn't said a word. We don't know where she's from or what happened to her family, but can guess the worst. She's been sticking close to Lieutenant Hellman, or right, we can adopt her. Lieutenant Hellman took the kid in. We eventually co coaxed a name out of her, Baby. She's going to take some. It's going to take them some time before the poor girl's life is back to normal. If you could ever call this kind of life normal, but she'll heal and adapt. Children are pretty flexible that way. <laughs> sure, if you say so. So Carlos Hellman. Wait, where's the where's the baby? Who's she with? Oh, she's with Lieutenant Hellman. All right, so now he's taking care of that kid. But it's uh, minus one to all stats, isn't it? Right. So nine years old, minus one to all stats. Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right. You should scavenge that. I think. In the meantime, next day, Gustav. Can you believe people are still trying to make money these days? All right. Well, Gustav is back. I want to reclaim this place, though. I don't. I don't really want Gustav. I want to just take the the territory. Uh, let me just keep expanding, right? Oh, there's loot here. Let me just uh, kill this stuff. Next day, dangerous mast Z. That's not good. Found medicine. Found ammunition. Found food. Zombies killed. So we are. Uh, slowly losing food, but we once we reclaim this, we're gonna be food positive. Is that safe? 6% danger. Safe enough. Let me add that to that. Found materials, found food, zombies killed. So, let me just kill these zombies. I'm literally killing them right now. All right, done. Uh, Lieutenant Hellman's sister had prepped her entire life. The gun stockpile, the years worth of rations, the bomb shelter that could survive the big one. To hear Lieutenant Hellman tell it, 
his sister was a born survivor, yet there she is now, clawing at our walls, tearing her fingernails off in her eagerness to eat our brains. Make Lieutenant Hellman kill her. Kill the zombie for Lieutenant Hellman. Ask Lieutenant Hellman what he wants to do, ignore it. What do you want to do, Lieutenant? Lieutenant Hellman stammered and tears welled in his eyes. Seems like he can't decide whether to run out there and embrace the zombie or to open fire. Looks like I'll have to decide for him. We're killing your sister, Hellman. I killed the zombie, quick and clean, a knife through the skull. Lieutenant Hellman cried out and burst into tears. He won't speak to me now, but I know what I did was for his own good. That wasn't a person anymore, it was nothing but a shell, alright. Well, I think he hates us now? <laughs> How can we tell if he hates us? Okay, we need to survive. We need to research survival management. 